Hey there, okay, this is just getting crazy, um, but I think we all probably expected it. So I will be revealing spoilers, so if you don't want to know anything about what's going on this season, then make sure you do not watch this video. And of course, I'm going to give credit where credit is due, Reality Steve. Of course, I get a lot of my information just by following him, going to his website, but I also come across news articles and stuff and then kind of wait to see if Reality Steve comments on it or confirms it or whatever. Um, so that's how I get my news because someone had made a comment and asked. So just thought I would let you guys know that because obviously I have no connection to The Bachelor. I just like to report what's going on. So like I said, if you don't want to know any spoilers, go away. <laughs> Don't watch. Okay. So here's the latest and greatest. And saw this article, Reality Steve did comment. So first I will go over the article. And if you want to read it, it's posted below. And then I will let you guys know what Reality Steve thinks of it. And of course, my opinion, which really doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. So it looks like Claire is engaged to Dale. Dale is 31 years old. Ah, I can't remember where he's from, but he currently lives in New York. So Claire lives out in Sacramento and Dale lives in New York. He was a formal, former NFL football player and right now he's a model. Good looking guy, right? So apparently they were talking prior to the show, which, hey, if it were me, and I had a list of the guys. I'd probably check some of them some of them out on Instagram. In fact, I totally would. Would you guys? Totally. So in case you didn't hear what was going on over the weekend, apparently Claire quit. Or maybe she got fired or let go. Or we don't know what happened. <laughs> um, but apparently 12 days after filming, whatever happened, Claire is no longer The Bachelor at um, Tasha has taken her place and this has been confirmed, but I'll get in, into that in a, in a little bit, but so yeah, um, it was speculated that Claire and Dale had a relationship prior to the show. And I guess what happened is they finally met each other face to face. Who knows? Maybe they met each other face to face prior to filming. We don't know. So, um, at any rate, uh, Claire uh, told producers she no longer wanted to, partic to per per uh, participate in the show and that she refused to come out of her room and producers were blindsided and were scrambling to figure out what to do. So we have a bonus season and that is Tasha is going to be our ne next Bachelorette, which personally I'm extremely happy about. Um, I liked her. I mean, I was happy about Claire too, but I really like Tasha. She's 30 years old. She's at a great age for it. And so, okay. So if you forgot what Dale looks like, that's what he looks like. So this is what, and I have to check out my phone for this one, but this is what Reality Steve had to report. We can acknowledge now that yes, Tasha is the new Bachelorette. Who are her guys? When does her when does she start her journey? Did she start her journey already? Because you have to keep in mind they did producers did ask some of Claire's contestants to come back to the show. Now whether they told them the reason why, who knows? But last I heard a lot of the, the contestants declined coming back on the show. So it would be interesting really to see, you know, does Tasha have Claire's, like, re I don't want to say rejects, but, you know, like leftovers. Um, as of, Claire did have three or four rose ceremonies, so I think she only had about 15 guys left. So hopefully Tasha has a bigger pool of men than just 15. But reality, Steve says this, and this was posted within the last hour on his Instagram story. Claire has definitely moved on with Dale in some capacity. 
we don't have the confirmation. We don't have confirmation that they were talking pre pre show, but we could assume that they were. I mean, how could you not, right? And our story will be shown when the season airs in September. That's where we are right now. I will update as soon as I hear anything more. So that's that's the news, and. It's pretty exciting, and I, I think it's great. I mean, we get two Bachelorettes this season, and let's face it, it's not like, you know, with the virus going around and what's going on, it's not like many shows are being created at this time. So maybe this is a bonus for ABC, right? So yeah, that's the news. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts, and if I hear anything more, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.